Vlog number 182. On Saturday, May 25th, 2024, 7.07 7 a.m. Turn it to the Today Show as usual. My head still really hurts on this left-hand side, which is painful because in two hours at 9 o'clock, I'm going to Kalispell to get flowers, and my mom and sister are going to get their nails done while, I'm do while they're doing that. I'm going to go to the golf course, so I don't want my head to hurt. And right now it does. If we can get better in the next two hours. Right now, though, 7.07. Um, there's a lot to do this morning. I have to make the practice bets before I leave, of course. I mean, I was up till like, 1.30 last night looking at something different, like, you know, home ERA and whatnot. But I don't know if I want to edit the next video or not. I probably should. I mean, I started yesterday. I was going to finish this morning. But with my head still hurting, it doesn't sound like a good idea. All right, it's 8.45. I've just been editing the vlog for the past hour and a half. I just got it done. It was the final vlog I did in Missoula. I'm watching sports. I mean, you saw what was just on the screen. Tyrese Halpern is questionable if he doesn't play. This, game, this series is over. No chance. He went out of game two and didn't return. Tyrus Halpern does not play. Indiana is going to get ran out of the gym tonight. And they're going to go down 3-0. This is the last clip you're going to see. 9 o'clock. I'm leaving to go to Kalispell. So I'll, as usual, write down every song. Write down what I do. Next clip you'll see is me getting back. It's 9 o'clock. There's nothing on TV. I haven't left yet. So until I leave, I'm going to watch Garfield the movie. It's kind of funny they're playing this. Because the new Garfield movie, obviously, is coming out. I feel the movie 2004. This is what I'll watch and tell. I leave. Garfield is literally voiced by Bill Murray. That is 100% Bill Murray. Bill Murray voices Garfield. That's awesome. All right, everybody. I'm now going to explain to you what I did on the 25th. It's currently like June 14th. I completely forgot to do this update. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. Give you some times and give you the music. I'm just going to go by fast. I ended up leaving at 9.19 after watching Garfield. Uh, as I said earlier, we are going to the next place in Kelspell. Unfortunately, we didn't even know if they were open or not, so we called them five minutes later. Got to Whitefish at 10.11, and then at 10.13, got to Starbucks, left the drive through at 10.18. We entered Kelspell 10.29, stopped at Town Pump at 10.31. Uh, I ended up not going in. We left eight minutes later at 10.39, and then we stopped at Costco at 10.42, went in at 10.44. At 10.58, I left Costco, and then at 11.02, I went back to Costco because we forgot the chips. 11.08, we left. At 11.18, we went to Home Depot. I did like, once again did not go in. And then at 11.20, we stopped at the new Barnes & Noble in Kelspa. We left there 20 minutes later at 11.38. And then I got dropped off at the Gopal Hill at 11.49. I was there a very long time, left there at 1.18. And then we went and got flowers at 1.32 at Hooper's. We ended up leaving at 2.16. I remember I was soaking wet this day because of, obviously, the rain. We then went to Plantland at 2.25 because the Hoopers didn't have purple flowers. We went to Plantland instead. We, we were there 17 minutes, left at 2.42. We then went to Taco Bell at 2.46. Left there at 3.03 for the first time ever. I got a Doritos Locos Taco. It was very solid. At 3.27, we turned left by that lake uh, to get back to Eureka. And then we got back at 4.14, and we actually drove into town a little bit so we could see the posters of the graduates that were hung up. And then I took a shower right as I got back, and then the very next clip you will see is what I did after the shower. All right, now that I got the schedule out of the way, I'll put the, I will put the music on the screen right now. And I will explain. Had some great songs, as always. I mean, you can look at it all about that bass. If I Die Young, MT MKTO Classic came on. All That Really Matters, Teddy Swims, BPM, I love that song. Cheerleader came on, Dark Horse. Those were three good songs in a row. Party Rock Anthem came on two songs later. OMG by Usher came on. And then Timber, Dance Monkey, Stay With Me, What Lovers Do. I mean, this was like a six songs in a row that were good. You can see it on the screen. Wake Me Up came on, which was just incredible. I Got a Feeling came on. Price Tag came on. Just The Way You Are came on. Roar. Kesha Die Young. Justin B. First Baby came on. Daya Hideaway. Empire State of Miami. I mean, the songs were incredible. And that was the music, so that's all I did on my trip. That's all the music I listened to. Now let's get back to the vlog. All right, it's 4.44. Just got out of the shower. The previous clip you saw... Was me going over what I just did today. It was all a crazy day. I was at, golf, at the golf course. It started downpouring and I got hit with hail, rain, all sorts of things. It was muddy. It was a complete disaster, but now I'm back home. Just got out of the shower. Mariners lose three to one. I mean, what else is there to say about this team? They have two runs in two games against the Nationals. They lost four straight games. Um, Wreck It Ralph comes on at 5 15. Oh, I'm definitely watching that. Nice. And then Ralph breaks the internet, comes on from 7 20 to 9 55. 
Yes, Wreck-It Ralph Marathon. I'm gonna watch Wreck-It Ralph from 5.15 to 6.30 and then turn the NBA game on. Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. You can watch Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> The Boss Baby 2 is on, Sonic is on. All right, on Encore 341, Little Fockers is on. Till 545, I'm gonna watch that till 515. And then I'll turn to it Ralph. I'll see you probably for an hour or so. And move to the bedroom. All right, just turn it off, Little Fockers. To it Ralph. Here we go, I'm gonna watch this in here for about 15 more minutes. And I'm gonna move in the bedroom. All right, it's 533, just moved into the bedroom. Turned on it Ralph. I'm gonna sit here in the bedroom. Till 6.15 and then at 6.15 I'll move back into my room. 45 minutes till 7 o'clock and I'll be back in here from 7 to 10. All right at 6.15 just moved back to my room like I said. What's going to happen now is I'm going to watch Rick and Ralph for 15 more minutes and then at 6.30 I'm going to turn on the Pacers Celtics game. The news today, uh, Tyrese Halliburton will not be playing so Boston's probably going to dominate this game. I mean you take out Halliburton from the Pacers and it's there's no way Indiana beats the Boston Celtics without their best players, so I think this might have a chance to be blowout. The game lost some of its uh, anticipation, which is unfortunate. Indiana is 6-0 at home, but without Halliburton, not a lot of confidence. Right at 6.32, turns to ABC, Pacers, Celtics. Starts now. I want this game to be close, but honestly, without Tyrus Halliburton, it probably will not be. All right, the game is about to start. Boston looks like they're going about to go up 3-0, which is just shocking because Indiana blew the first game. And imagine if they won that, how different would this series be? We go game three. They're 6-0 at home this postseason. Gotta win this one if they want to move on. Right at 6.58, just moved to the bedroom, made the pop one. Bought my drink, got my snacks. Turn it to the Celtic team. Celtics starting to pull away a little bit. Of course they are. Just gonna sit here and watch this game and I'll have to do it probably the end of the quarter. All right, it's 7.08. Boston leads at 32-31 after the first quarter. Boston had took a nine-point lead, but it's down to one now. 26 paint points, the most in any quarter. In the last 25 playoffs, Indiana, without their best player, still fighting strong. Boston leads it by one after one. A standing ovation at the Gainbridge Fieldhouse. The Indiana Pacers have an eight-point lead. Down nine early. Now up eight. Midway through the second quarter. A 20-point turnaround. The Indiana Pacers shooting 65%. They cannot miss right now. It's an 11-point Indiana lead. Indiana looking really good right now. The Indiana Pacers, check that out. Since 2 minutes and 30 seconds, first quarter, another one. 41 16 since 2 minutes 30. Boy, this is ridiculous. Indiana cannot miss right now. Not a good ending for the Indiana Pacers. An 8 0 run by the Celtics. And a minute 9, 18 point lead down to 9. See if Indiana does anything here. 3. Oh, yeah. From the G in the Gainbridge Fieldhouse logo. Holiday air balls to three. That's it for the first half. Indiana shooting lights out. They put up 69 first half points. 21 points for Andrew Nemhard and a 12 point lead for the Indiana Pacers. It's 825. Indiana is collapsing. 0 for 9 from three point range this quarter. They're lucky Boston's missed two wide open threes in a row because this game could be down to four. There's a foul, Indiana. Down to seven. Indiana only has four points in the last six minutes. The shot goes in with point six three at the buzzer. No one. Indiana will take a nine point lead into the fourth quarter. One more quarter to go. Indiana up 90 to 81. Indiana does not deserve to win this game if they're going to let Al Horford, of all people, make this many threes. He's got six threes. Probably my least favorite player in the NBA. I just can't stand the guy. You give him that many threes. You don't deserve to win this game. It's down to three. Indiana blowing it once again. 55. It is reaction time. Indiana not playing any defense right now. Boston down only five. Come on, Indiana. If you go down 3 0, this series is over. Tatum goes inside. Not, not this clown again. Oh my. I can't stand this guy. I, I, I cannot stand it. Least favorite player in the NBA by far. Not even close. This clown just retired already. What is he, 50 years old? Jeez. They almost turn it over. They have five on the shot clock. 
Siakam layup, no good, oh great. Here comes Boston, 46 seconds down two. Holiday inside. They counted in one. Unbelievable. Right, is Indiana gonna blow it again? Come on, man. Boy, first lead since 32-31. They were down 18. Indiana has blown it again. 18 points, second half lead. Gone. I'll let Mike Breen play by play. Here we go. They're gonna blow this, aren't they? Unbelievable. Miss a shot and they foul. I guess Boston called timeout. They don't have to foul, but it's pathetic, Indiana. Pathetic. 11 2 run in the last two minutes. Eight second differential. Gotta get a stop. Don't have to foul. Missed it. Nine seconds. Here we go. Oh, you gotta be joking me right now. Unbelievable. Why would you not call timeout? You have a timeout. Well, you don't. You deserve. You deserve to lose this game, Indiana. You have a timeout, you don't call it. What are you doing, man? They're reviewing whether this is a clear path foul or not. If it's a clear path foul, this thing is going to be over, man. I, if I was an Indiana fan, I would be so unbelievably mad right now to blow game one in the way you did. You had that game. Game two, man, you didn't play that well, so you can take a loss game two. But then game three, to go up 18, you could very well be up two games to one. Instead, you're going to be down 0-3. That's, that's embarrassing. Yeah. 1.7. That is enormous. So if he makes both... I mean, you'd probably want to make the first, miss the second. I mean, then they got to shoot the full court shot to win the game. First free throw, Drew Holiday. Got it. He can very easily miss this free throw and force Indiana to do a full, full court shot. That's probably what's going to happen. I guess Indiana does have a timeout, so who knows. Makes them both timeout Indiana. 1.7 seconds. Austin up three. Oh, well, here we go. Everybody in the backcourt can run like a football play into the front court. I just said that, really? Really, Doris? Indiana, they need a three. Neesmith for the tie. No, and that's game. And they blow it again. This team is downright awful, and they're about to get swept. What else is on? Dr. Jokers comes on TNT. I'll find something to watch, but that was embarrassing. Well, this is absolutely perfect. I can watch Ralph Breaks the Internet till it ends at 9.55 for another 45 minutes, and then I'll just turn the news on at 10. Perfect, Ralph Breaks the Internet, rest of the night. All right, it's 10.23, just moved to my room, was listening to the music channel. I turned to the news, but I'm probably gonna look for something else to watch because there's no Fallon on, so I have to, don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to watch tonight, so I'll try to find something. Maybe there's a good movie on, I don't know. All right, it's 10.30. The news ended way earlier. I don't think I've ever seen the news end so early. It's because Saturday Night Live, they're literally just doing a rerun. Josh Bro and Ariana Grande. I was just going to say, when I was looking through the channels, check out what's on. Homeless to Harvard is on. I'm not going to watch it. Why this means something is I watched a little bit of this back in my freshman year of high school, back before everything got shut down. I never got to finish it because I missed the second day when we watched. I watched the first half and then missed the second half. So I ended up not watching the entire thing. Homeless to Harvard, Liz Murray. That's awesome. I don't know what to watch, but luckily, um, if you go to, uh, I think I'm going to watch Aquaman the rest of the night. There's nothing else on, so Aquaman, the movie it is. Never seen Aquaman. That's what I'm going to be watching. Unless, of course, I get bored, which is possible. All right, it's 10.30. I've just been watching Aquaman for the last hour. Since it started at 10 o'clock, so we'll have another hour and 30 minutes to go, which doesn't end until 1 o'clock, so I'm not going to be able to see how it ends. I'm going to turn the TV off like I normally do at this time. That'll be that. Hopefully we'll do it this long. See you again tomorrow.